Hi there, welcome to Talk of the Town. Yes, my name is Mo. And I am Tom Wright. And we're so glad that you tuned in again. Uh, Tom, tell me what's new. What's new is I have, well, my crock pot's not so new, but I finally used it for the first time. <laughs> that huge giant, yeah. which is the size of this table. Pretty much. If people haven't Pretty seen much. it. Yeah, so what did you make in that? Well, I, I finally had the opportunity, I had a family coming to town to visit. Oh, and how nice. You I, made made, a... I made some pot roast. Pot roast. Did you follow one of our what a crock recipes? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. I love it, and I bet they were impressed with you. Uh, well, they will find out. It's actually today as we're filming well, this. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually cooking at my oh, apartment see, right now. see, aren't you? Now you're understanding this. See, you can multitask. Multitask. Well, I think that's wonderful. Yes, I that's even took awesome. some pictures. I'm, pr quite, I'm quite proud of it. I even took some pictures here. Of a crock pot cooking. Well, my yes. crock pot cooking, yes, of course. <laughs> I'd love I mean, to see them. Yeah, would okay. you? Okay. Of course. Oh, very see impressive. That one? Did you put the did you practice safe crock pot? Yes, of course. You, <laughs> this is very impressive. You see that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is awesome. I wasn't messing around, Mo. I wasn't messing around. No, that is great. There's carrots in there, there's celery, onions. Yeah. And then what are these small chunks of things? Is that garlic? Um I don't know, packaging. What is that? <laughs> Okay, weirdo. Anyway. Well, what? Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> but you got to see, head. I also took a crock pot <laughs> selfie there, too. What are you doing with your hand? What is that? Let's see. For crock. C for crock pot. Yeah, I couldn't do the I P because I got to have one I hand understand. that takes the picture. Well, that is, that's see. very, that's very exciting. <laughs> Congratulations. Good. That's awesome. Excellent. Yeah, uh, we're glad that our best friend Jim is kind of rubbing off on you. It's starting to rub off on yeah, me. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I have great news. Um, yes, I understand your husband retired. Retired. Yes, recently. the first of May. So you had a big um, ceremony and everything. Tell oh, me about it was that. so moving. It was so beautiful. You were in the military. My husband yeah. was in the military for, uh, gosh, around 29 years, wow. almost 29 years, and it went like that, Tom. I know you're probably because you're 29 years old, but it, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, that one. it went so fast yeah. yeah so i'm really happy for him he had a great career and um and he was up there uh, in the rank what what's his oh, rank oh he was i think he was the president of the united states oh, pretty he, much yeah so I, that's what i thought commander too in chief. <laughs> uh, retired as a lieutenant he had colonel. a motorcade everywhere he, he went did, you know yes. the cubs or wherever no that was when i was speeding to cub Woo. oh yeah tom what else is going on in the world well i'll tell you what what's going on in the world no. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried i'm asking <laughs> all you kinds of things going on in this world <laughs> Here are the taut headlines. The news with facts we don't need to check oh, because, because they are why? the facts. Oh, okay. We start with art. It is taking over Hastings. You know that? Uh, okay, yes, I have noticed that. Uh, new art related projects and businesses are springing up everywhere. Mm -hmm. There is the Art Space Project on the east end of downtown. Mm -hmm. The plans include 37 artist live work units with some uh, commercial space. And then there is the new Hastings Art Center at yes. the uh, former Guardian Angels Church. Mm -hmm. Um, just had their big home, uh, their big opener, uh, and oh, now okay. the Breakaway Arts Cafe is yes. opening up just down the street where the chamber used to be. Right. Lots of art, mm -hmm. and there may be more. Mo. Really. There's a potential finger licking and painting at KFC, coming up, and <laughs> a new business called Art Sharts. Say it again. Art Sharts. Art Sharts. Okay. Yeah, they're. Keeping that under the wraps for some reason, but I don't know Sharks. what it's going to be about. But it's a catchy Art? name. Is it though? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you could drop off almost anything at the city's annual spring cleanup. Um, many oh. residents took advantage, uh, dropping off anything under the sun and the moon that you could think of. Do you do that? Do you bring stuff there? You know, Honey Bunny does. That. He's kind of in charge of those things. Mm. I'm in charge of other things. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they took all kinds of hazardous waste uh, from the McNary's here. They took even uh, <laughs> documents you wanted shredded. And they, they did? took it all. They did take it all. Oh. Almost all of it, actually. Oh. Apparently, one item they would not take were pictures of KDWA owner Dan Massman. <laughs> Deemed way too hazardous. <laughs> yeah. You were due, Dan. <laughs> you were due. And I totally get that. Yes. <laughs> Score one for us. <laughs> And we're way ahead on him. Aren't we? <laughs> we're way ahead on you, Dan. And there you have it. Your Todd oh, headlines. Can I tell you, those are the best headlines I've heard in a long yeah. time. Dan Mansman. Dan Mansman.
<laughs> We're going to take a little break, and then what happens when we get back? Oh, uh, we have you the know, Bingo just, Fun Day. I just come here. <gasps> oh, yes. Bingo Fun Day. Bingo you fun do day. not want to miss that. That no. will be great fun. And it'll get even funner with a uh, softball coach. Fun is not coach. a word, friend. Well, well you're, that's, a, that's a word on tot. It's going to get funner <laughs> More on fun. tot with <laughs> the co coach of the girls' softball team, Dean Robinson. Dean Robinson is going to be in studio with us. Excellent. Stay tuned. Welcome to Go For The Dough, your local trivia game show where we pit Hastings locals head to head for their trivia knowledge. What movie gave the world the memorable quote, there is no spoon? Yes. The Matrix. That is also correct, <laughs> Reverend. Nicely done. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We now have a little fun, a little bingo fun to be exact, huh? Yes, we are heading to Vermilion to St. John the Baptist School, their big fundraiser, Bingo Fun Day. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see just how much fun it was. What's the talk of the town? Dixie won, right here, big winner. Dixie, what's the big winning? $750. 700 and Seven. Only seven fifty. Oh, really? Not, really high. Seven, high. Really How are you doing? The Pope is here, everyone. Come on, the Pope is here. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh, Your Holiness, I am so happy to see you here today. Uh, you will enjoy bingo, I've heard. Yeah, me too. What's the talk of the town at the Vatican? Mum's the word. Where are your bingo cards? You have your bingo cards? You guys not playing? Yet, not yet. What are we enjoying here? What are you having for uh, lunch? Taco lunch. I love it. So, would you say you guys have an advantage when it comes to playing bingo, that being the sisters? No. No? <laughs> what do you mean advantage? Well, you know, you. Yeah. I think you do. Yeah, we do. We like to meet the people and be with them and enjoy them. What is the talk of the town? I don't know. Got any latest rumors for us? <laughs> We can. <laughs> we don't. We are good people. What is the talk of the town? You, if anyone would know. What is the talk? Well, I tell you what. We are in an egg-based community, so there are a lot of. What's happening right now is a lot of talk at Vermilion Elevator about the soil temperatures, when we're going to get out in the field, what everybody's planting, crop rotation. That's what the talk of the town is right now. <laughs> I have no idea what any of that means. All right, kids, take notes, watch, and learn. All right, watch and learn. This is how you fish. Here we go. It's got to tease him a little bit. Now I'm going to set the hook. Whoa, geez, I got a big one there. All right. Here we go. Reel it in. Reel it in. Oh, <laughs> nothing to see here, folks. You didn't see that. You did not see that. Look at that. That is a big fish. Your father, Stan, welcome to Bingo Fun Day. Are you having so much fun? <laughs> yes, I am. Now tell me, why do, uh, why do we as Catholics enjoy bingo so much? It's a faith thing. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> there's always a little hope. Every bingo game, there's a little hope. I love it when people shake their heads no, because that means yes. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Great. Just great. How's your game going? Not very good. Any bingos yet for you? No, 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 none here at all. Well, while we're waiting for the winning numbers, what is the talk of the town? Well, I have to concentrate on this. I have no idea what the talk of the town is. You have to let me concentrate. Have you ever seen the show Talk of the Town? I have. You have? Out in Vermilion? I've heard it's the talk of the town. Well, I think you're the talk of the town. <laughs> what is the talk of the town? The show? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you know what the talk of the town is, sweetie? What's Bingo the, Fun Day is the talk of the town today. What else? So you're in the know, because you're in the mix. You're a local girl. Yeah. Well, you know, Steinhouse is getting some of the new additions, and they're putting on a patio. They're at renovations. Uh, T-ball, we're getting that started up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking over. Here we go with the uh, first game bingo with your talk of the town folks here. What is the talk of the town? Has anybody seen the show Talk of the Town? Say yes. <laughs> Don't raise them all at once. Just got real, folks. Just got real. Oh, 75. Oh, 75. They can't hear you. You can't hear me. What is happening? Oh, 75. 
Whoa! Why is it working for her, not for me? There we go. That's life, friend. I got to meet the Pope. How cool was that? That, that was pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. He was kind of quiet, though. Yes. He was a little quiet. Actually, somebody equally as cool as here. Yes, equally cool. Oh, yes. Right. We will put you in the same category <laughs> as the Pope. Drop the Pope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coach Dean Robinson joins us now in studio. Welcome to Talk of the you. Town. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate um, it. Before we went on the air, let's actually have you say on camera what you said before. That I've watched you guys <gasps> interview like four or five other people. Okay. It's been he has fun. watched our show. He's yeah. the first guest. You're the first guest ever who's so watched our show. We're huh. a legitimate television show. If we have a one legit. viewer, that, that makes us legit. Far. Don't go that far, Bestie. And I've told both my friends, so there could both be three people watching. <laughs> hey! Absolutely. My I mom like is that. sure to watch. And your... your uh, Dollhead. My doll, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing well, by the way. She is. Anyway, girls softball. Yep. Uh, very exciting. And uh, you are obviously a coach of the Hastings Raiders. How mm -hmm. long have you been doing that? I've been the head coach since '09. I was okay. the assistant coach with uh, behind Mike Muck for two years before that. So wonderful. Yeah, it's been fun, run. I bet it has been. Now, did you play softball yourself? Did you play baseball? I played slow, slow pitch. Yep. I didn't play. I played baseball up till maybe seventh grade, and then okay. um, just decided to just work and stuff like that so um but yeah i've never played fast pitch um chad fike one of my assistants he still plays today oh my gosh. Uh, so that's kind of exciting to have you know his his input when he actually plays and you know footwork and stuff like that is awesome because that at that level you know it's even higher so ball's coming faster so it's great to have him uh help out being an actual player wow you have seen some success uh, as well since 2009 2011 state champions yep. yeah, state champions yeah. so what how how What's do the you, secret? Is that what is the secret? That's what I'm getting to. I'm trying to spit out. What? what? Is, what hmm, huh? What yeah. is the secret to success you in know, softball? By far the biggest thing is team unity. Mm -hmm. um, having the parents on board, having the kids on board, playing for one another, not for themselves. Uh, you know, just not being no selfish. there's no team. Right. And yeah. you know what? You, you hear that over and over again, but it is so true. It's unbelievable. I mean, you look at 2010, we went to state, took third place, mm. and we graduated 11 seniors, and we won state in 2011. Oh my gosh. You know, so right there, I mean, even though a lot of our core left, we still had a couple core players, uh, four seniors in 2011, and those younger players just rallied around, and they wanted to le let those seniors leave on a high note, and they just 100% played for those seniors, and seniors played for the younger players, and it was just phenomenal. And it's such an awesome experience. You want everybody, every kid to experience that, yeah. but it's probably why they call it special because everybody can't do that. And, and it was just, just a great experience. You know, there's no I in talk of the town either. I was just, <laughs> I was just figuring that out. <laughs> what, how would you describe your, your coaching style, your leadership style? What kind of coach are you? Um, definitely laid back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I like to have fun, but also the players know when it's time to buckle down and be serious. I kind of let them know all right, you guys can talk, you can do whatever until we go for our run. When we go for our run, <clears throat> it's softball time. You know, now we're, we got two hours, hour and a half of practice, so we're just going to dial in and talk softball. And I've been pretty much honest is the other big thing. If I'm honest to you, you need to be honest with me. If you're going to miss, let us let me know. Spring break's another tough thing for, mm. for spring sure, sports. Right. Um, and a lot of coaches will penalize if they go on spring break. Um, I don't know, I consider it family time. It's always in the beginning of our season, so that helps a little bit. Um, so I've never penalized. I just figure the ones that stick around are going to get the fundamentals mechanics of what we do and the ones that come that miss out on that, you know, a good chance that if they're not up to par, they're probably not going to make the team just because of the absence, you know. So um, that's the big thing, too, is just being honest with them and making sure they're being honest with you. Dean, uh, girls sports obviously have come a really far away since I certainly was mm -hmm. in high school. Um, do you encourage these girls, do they play the same sport year round? That seems to be the trend these days, you know, where somebody picks a sport and then they play it versus right. when I was in high school, uh, you were in three different sports. Right. And then in the summer, you maybe did something else. Yeah, unless you're low, then you're what, five, six sports at least. What? <laughs> I don't know. That was without a calculator. <laughs> that was, uh, yes, exactly. Um, <clears throat> Thanks for noticing. No, the big thing is the domes nowadays, because that's how they can sure. softball. They, you know, there's a dome right over in Rosemont, and they're all over now. So you can play softball year round. I love it when a girl plays basketball, hockey. Those girls come in, they're conditioned. They're right. ready to rock and roll. That's I mean, it. we start doing our running. You know the ones that have been, you know, been in hockey or basketball just because of mm -hmm. all that, all that uh, preparation that they've had. You know, so I definitely like my players playing other sports. There's actually a lot that just play softball. Mm -hmm. And it's weird. I never, I would never tell somebody. Actually, Steph Weichel years ago was the goalie for for varsity hockey, and she wanted to play dome ball. And I'm like, no, I don't want you to play dome ball. You're 
You know, the, the varsity hockey co uh, goalie, that's the last thing I want you to do is trip on a base and ha wreck a knee or something, and then you're out for your, your hockey season, you know? Mm. And I just said, oh, sorry, but I'm not gonna let you just, because of that, you know, she's a, was a key component to that hockey program. So um, there's some- Words have changed like, though, haven't oh, they? Oh, definitely, yeah. You know, when you look at all the conditioning that they do, the Raiders Express, phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You know, during the summer, those off, you know, for the teams that are off there, um, that's just awesome. So they can, they're definitely stronger, quicker, um, but you still need that dedication and that drive to, uh, you know, to excel in a sport. But yeah, they've definitely changed. You're in a completely new conference this year, Metro yeah. East Conference. Um, t for those not totally into Raiders sports, what does that mean exactly? Is it all new teams that you guys are playing? And uh, how do you feel about it? What do you? Yeah, what do you we, it's a 100% every single team we play is new. Um, the SEC, we've been in that, I don't know, I actually don't even know how long, but since I've been involved with softball, we've been in the SEC. What does SEC mean? Um, South Eastern Conference. Oh, yep. Or sub, sub, Southern Eastern Conference. And uh, the competition is, I mean, it's crazy. When we won state, we played Forest Lake for the championship They're in our conference. Stillwater made it to state that year. So there's three teams mm -hmm. in the SEC that made it made it to state. That's That's awesome, you know, so. Competition is just so strong, and I, I love that because then you're ready Makes for sections. You yep, no yeah. doubt. In this new conference, we didn't know what to expect. I'm going off a lot of hearsay from um, some of the parents that might know players on that team, um, or you know, another uh, <clears throat> just other coaches that I know that have you know talked about their caliber of play. So it's a little lower, pitching slower. So that's kind of been the big thing as far as adjusting. Mm. So some of our closer games, um, you know, that's what we struggled was hitting was hitting. Um, we lost to North St. Paul. We had 14 errors. We've ever had that since I've been here. So, you know, those errors like that, the mental things are just like that. You can fix them. It's just a matter of refocus, get everybody together. But it's weird that the whole team kind of fell apart that one game, you know. A lot of times one or two will do it and the other ones pick them up and mm -hmm. away we go. Hmm. But for some reason this game, and it's a huge game to learn from. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I told the girls. I said, you know, I'm not expecting to go undefeated. You really don't want to go undefeated because then you got to worry about are they cocky, are they not, you know. Hmm. So. Losses are great. You can learn a lot from a loss. So um, that's what we talked about. We always do pros and cons after games, what we need to work on, what we did really well. And, um, you know, that, that was a pretty short con because it was like, you know, everybody did head airs. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to move on. You know what you did. We don't need to be Captain Obvious, you know. So um, they know exactly what they did wrong. So you just move on and go for the next game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we're ready for some uh, questions for you, Captain Obvious. All right. <laughs> Let them rip. <laughs> you ready? The top five. Oh, All right. Really. We got the mood set. Top five. All right. Here we go. If you could change one rule about girls high school softball, what would it be? Hmm. Um, I guess, I don't know if there's that, that much of it, hmm. but I, I would think it would be cool if they would do drug testing or something like that. I don't oh, know really? if it's, I don't know if it's that much around, but it'd be interesting just to see um, you mean like steroids? <laughs> yeah. Well, when girls show up like Mo and like they got the pipes going, yeah, yeah, you, can't, you, you know, do wonder. It's just you do wonder. I, I don't know. I don't. It's not a huge thing, but just off the top of my head, that's something you know that. Interesting. Yeah. I don't like. I said I don't think there's a ton of it. Yeah. But it'd be kind of interesting to see. You know, the drug says the drug issue we have we have in high schools nowadays is crazy. And yeah. It would just be curious to see what what would come out of athletes. Yeah, that's interesting. All right. Uh, if you could spend a day with any professional athlete, who would it be? Wow. Um, geez, that's a good one. Anybody. I'm not a huge, I mean, I, I like, I love sports, mm -hmm. but I'm not really zoned into one, one sport. I would say probably a Viking player, but I That'd honestly be don't know. I think Teddy Bridgewater, just because he's new and um, I like the way he handles himself and stuff like that. But yeah, that's a great question. That'd be good. I'd probably say him. Play some catch with Teddy Bridgewater? Yeah. Okay. I'd go for that. Um, if you could eliminate any sport from existence, never to be seen or talked about again, what sport would it be? Seriously? Yeah, which one just, <laughs> which one just annoys you the most that you just, when ESPN puts this on, you're like, come on, guys, let's, and you just turn the channel. What is that sport for you? I would say probably water polo. Water polo. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> wow. Is that a thing? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Dean. We just lost all the water polo under, viewers out there. I was thinking the underwater basket weaving, but is that a sport? <laughs> <laughs> trying to think. <laughs> water polo. Yeah, I don't I even know. I did not see that coming. 
<laughs> to Miguel, this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're so low. That's well, good to know. We're going to have to work on getting those viewers back. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably both my friends. <laughs> Mine is a two part question. The first part is a fact, and that is ketchup was sold as medicine in the 1830s. Very cool. Do you have any tattoos? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no tattoos. No, no, nope, I've never been a big tattoo sense. fan. Were May you... I just say my bestie wrote these questions? <laughs> I write them as as she would tell them. <laughs> That's not... Nope, and I don't think I ever would. Actually, back in the day, a couple of my buddies got tattoos, and we were thinking about. I was thinking about doing it. What were you thinking of getting? That's what I didn't. A bear. I, didn't I see you with I a bear. Uh, I didn't know what I wanted. I have for the a rest butterfly. Life, so. yeah. <laughs> Watch what? Off. Did you guys, were you guys tempted after the state championship 2011? Maybe everybody getting a tattoo? No, no those are kids. You can't what? have kids get so, tattoos. No, we got them pennants and um, coaches got rings. No, no cool. tattoos. All right, the final question. In Kentucky, this is a fact. In oh. Kentucky, it is illegal to carry ice cream in your back pocket. Did you know that? That's a good thing. So, uh, that the burning question then is, where would you carry your ice cream while in Kentucky? Oh, great question. Can't carry it. Very good question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one I didn't think I was gonna get asked. <laughs> <laughs> right in my front pocket. <laughs> that is a good answer. This that is, is why. This is the guy. That's why he's winning the games right there. <laughs> this is the guy. <laughs> That's the guy. Uh, oh, boy, Dean, you guys are you desperate are, to find the guy. Seriously, <laughs> that was great. Dean, how can people follow your team? Um, they can definitely follow us on cable TV. Okay. Um, and we're also, um, the newspaper follows us, so we uh, do interviews with them. And then uh, also Tuck interviews a few and games on KDWA. And 1460 KDWA. KDWA, yep. And then, um, but is your schedule published someplace? Yeah, is it's it on online? The, it's, on, uh, it's on the Hastings High School website Good. under athletics. And you just okay. go on uh, whatever level, varsity, JV, B squad, and you go from there. Great. Great. Well, thank you for coming thank in. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot of fun. for coming in. It's a lot yes. of fun. Yeah, very good. Excellent. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, uh, we're going to have a little fiesta here for What a Crock. C. Oh, C. look at that. C. <laughs> B. <laughs> a. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Local Chords. I'm Michael Campa, and we're here at the Coliseum for the stalls. Welcome back, folks. It's time for another great recipe by Mo here. On and what's the segment called? Um, what a crock. Uh, <laughs> I got to tell you, it is the month of May. Lots of things going on, mm. of course. Graduations, uh, Memorial Day, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, One see. of my favorite. I love Mexican food. And I'm telling you, the crock pot is a perfect way to make a Mexican dinner. So I brought you a little sombrero. Oh, yeah, can you nice. put that on? Will that wreck your TV? You know yeah. me, I love to wear yes. hats on this show. <laughs> hola. Look at that. Hola, si no. hola, hola. Okay, so we're going to get cracking. It looks like a lot of ingredients, but I'm telling you, it goes very, very fast. So we are going to be making a chicken tortilla soup. Ooh. And it, you can spice it up Me a little gusta. bit more. All right. Me gusta, yeah. Right. <laughs> si, senor. Dos años en la escuela. Okay, stop huh? it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Donde esta el baño? That's about as far as I can go. Yeah, that's a good one. Thank you. That's Don't survey <laughs> us, por favor. And then, donde es el baño? <laughs> anyway, um, so this is quick. So it's a chicken tortilla soup. And we, of course, mm. um, I know we don't have any sponsors. Oh, aren't you going to compliment oh, me yeah, on my nose? Yes. <laughs> we don't have sponsors, but. <laughs> aren't you a wife? Aren't you going to compliment me <laughs> on. <laughs> you are so married. Okay. <laughs> Give me that. Does this apron make me look bad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're 
practicing our safe crocking. So for this recipe, I'm telling you, it goes quick, quick, quick. You want to put in um, a it. large onion that's already been kind of taking the stuff out of it. The, uh, mm. you know, the, it's been sauteed a little bit. So we're plopping that in. Two cans of refried beans. Here we go. Beans yep. coming Plop up. Plop those babies in. Two Uno. cans. Yes. Dos. Oh, Lord. Are you uh -huh. going to talk in Spanish the whole time? Si. So, and then you want to put in uh, two cans of corn, 15 ounce cans of corn. Oh, All my right. gosh, this looks great already. Going for it. I'm going to dewater de them. Yes. <laughs> what a, a great a idea. Term, Thank you for term. doing that. Here we go. Perfect. Because, you know, you want to. You want to take some of the water out. Yes. Okay. So, throw those See, babies in. I am picking in. up a thing or two here in the segment. It's very now. impressive. So, two cans of corn, and then you want to put in, oh my gosh, this is looking yummy. And then you want to put in some uh, chicken broth. That looks great, Chicken Bestie. broth, all right. Yes. That's coming up. I'm yes. trying to do this without slicing my finger. There we go. Careful. Yes, you, I get worried no about you. No me gusta cuts. Okay. <laughs> no me gusta. There we go. Chicken broth. Look at that. That is awesome. Good key. Mm. So that's a can of chicken broth. And then you want to put in a packet of taco seasoning. Any kind will do. Taco seasoning. What was that? That, that, was like a, that was like a little seasoning move there you had. <laughs> I got a lot of moves. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. <laughs> My moves were popular in the 80s. Were you in middle school? Were, it was yeah. the 80s. No. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> Were you even born, Mike and Michael? Tell I was that. born in the eighties. Oh, I'll you say were that. The, yeah. Okay. Eighty. And then a cup of uh, a cup of picante sauce, which you know I knew I needed my cup measurement for some reason, but here this looks like about a cup. Hold on. Yeah, sure. that's good. Looks we're good. good to go. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. You like things a little spicier, so I do. let's put let's put a half a teaspoon of garlic Ooh. powder in. All right, we're gonna Remember, live on the Hold top it over side. here so if it falls, then it falls where it needs to. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, and then we put in some shredded chicken. Fair I enough. already shredded chicken for you because I was worried about, you know, <coughs> you shredding Cuts, nice. Shredding, yeah. all that Doesn't sharp that stuff. look yummy? Doesn't that, that smell great? That looks delicious. Yes, so now we plop the cover on. Now this is look a crock pot dinner. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we put the there crock you know. pot on, the cover on. We wait a while. Oh gosh, we probably wait, I don't know, three, four hours. Put her on high. Mm -hmm. Wow, three, four hours. Yeah, three, four hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Kay, a crock. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> I tell We're you here what. To teach as well as yes. entertain. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Memorial Day. Happy graduations. Yes. Happy prom. Happy birthday if this is your month. Happy anniversary. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. It's all good. Thanks for watching. My name is Mo. Uh, so I, so I uh, llamo Tom. <laughs> Me llamo Mo. <laughs> and this show is called Talk of the Town. See sí. you next time. Adios. <laughs>